Cerberus has taken one of our secret communication facilities. All campaigns in this theater depend on the information that dish array supplies. What do we know? We're getting intel from a tech who survived the attack. Grace Sato. She's hiding in a security bunker off-site. A civilian? Yes. Patching her through. Miss Sato. What's happening down there? I'm staying hidden, but I'm the only one left. They're trying to hack into our systems to access Alliance operations protocols. I'm tracking their activity, but they're bound to find me sooner or later. Hang in there. We'll be there soon. Yes. Yes, Commander. It's not ideal, but she's the only one with any traction on this. The information stored in that network is critical, Commander. If it gets into enemy hands, we'll lose a lot of good people. I'll take care of it, Admiral. See that you do. Hack it out. Miss Sato, come in. Miss Sato, are you there? The human is too scared to answer. We need the final coordinates. Grace, listen to me. Can't talk. They're right outside. You lose your nerve now, thousands will die. Now tell me what I need to know. Yes. Yes, Commander. Updating your nav point with the last location now. But if you get to me in time... Just hurry. Please. Commander, I think I can make a run and get her. Do it.
Toronto, then heading back to the rendezvous point. Good job, Lieutenant. Our communication station is secure. Operations in this theater are safe again. No small task to keep it that way. How is Misato doing? She has to be transferred to a nearby Alliance station. Looks like she isn't letting the Cerberus attack scare her off. I commend her for that. Hack it out. I've studied Protheans my entire life. If I'd been shown the beacon on Thessia earlier... You would have needed Shepard's cipher to comprehend it. I still could have learned from it. Instead, my mother hid the galaxy... It must have been such a joke to her when I became a Prothean researcher. The penalties for withholding Prothean technology are among the harshest in Council space. Your mother's motives may have been simply to shield you. Perhaps. Thank you, Edie. I... hadn't considered that. It's good to see you. It's good to see you. It's good to see you. Greetings, Commander. Maybe we could talk later.
What do we know? Edie? The sanctuary facility was devoted to aiding refugees from Reaper-controlled systems. The facility went offline recently, and no communications have come or gone since. It is unclear why Kai Lang or Cerberus would be interested in Sanctuary. We don't leave until we're one step closer to Cerberus. Ma'am, I'm picking up a signal from the facility. It's weak, but I'll try to boost it. This is Oriola Austin. Stay away from Sanctuary. It's not what it seems. Please, you must listen to me. They're using... Oriana? That's Miranda's sister. If she's here, Miranda can't be far away. That's our link to Cerberus. Approaching the LZ. Seeing some damage, Commander. No activity. Cerberus does not get the jump on us this time. Stay sharp, people. A lot of damage, Commander. Yeah. But who is fighting? Everyone hear that? Yes, radio's offline. Something's jamming our signals. Explains no comms leaving the facility. We're going back to the were hunting them down. About time they started killing each other. and Miranda's crazy father. Any ideas how this all fits? A security panel. Shutting it down. Strange. 
an unusual amount of technology for such a facility. We have a back door into the facility. Let's move. Some kind of control center. No power. Look around for a switch. Power switch. There. Yes. This process is known to me. They do not kill what can be useful. I'm sorry, Commander. I think I understand. They're being turned into husks. Shutting down the power to the processing plant to lock them down. It should keep them out of the entrance as well. Kai Lang. She won't know he's here. Miranda Lawson has arrived sooner than expected. You want me to deal with her? Only if she gets in your way. Stay focused on the research data. Find it and get out. Yes, sir. Damn it. Let's move!
efficiency has revealed an important fact. The pursuit of efficiency has revealed an important fact. The Reaper's use of dragon's teeth to create husks is ingenious. The Reaper nanites attach themselves to the adrenaline released and quickly move through. Terminal's damaged. Hang on. The Reapers wish this place to be shut down. Maybe we'll find answers. It doesn't make sense. Not Cerberus and the Reapers were getting along. What changed? There it is. Heading to the tower to disable the communication scrambler. I have to get word out. Some refugees are turned into husks. Some are indoctrinated and shipped to the elusive man. Whoever's left is used in experiments. The data indicates that my father is trying to figure out how Reaper indoctrination works. Tricking refugees with food and shelter only to turn them into test subjects. And for what? Your choices will become less appealing as the Reapers devour your galaxy. Note that she mentioned shipping indoctrinated refugees to the elusive man. We can use that to find him. Good catch. Come on. Miranda said she was headed to the tower. Theoretically, control is possible, yes. The Reaper subjects we converted are responding, but it's difficult to maintain. I thought that might be the case. Not to worry, Henry. With Sanctuary's help, we'll get it sorted. If he can control Reaper minions, we have a potent weapon. I'll play the rest of it. We've done it. We've found a way to co-opt their control signal. As long as the Reaper troops remain in close proximity to our signal, we can maintain control indefinitely. Excellent news. And how could we extrapolate this technique to apply to the Reapers themselves? That's a much bigger challenge. Now we know where the Reapers attack Sanctuary. They deduce Cerberus's plan. That bodes ill for the elusive man. But it's good news for us. We finally have our link to Cerberus. Lowering the access ladder. Come on, let's move. Wait, Shepard, there's more here. Damn it. I hope she's ready for him.
facing hostiles. It's too late. Cerberus sent troops to defend the facility against the Reapers. Exit! Right here! Our access granted. Ariana tried to shoot me. Miranda's poisonous influence, no doubt. I'm sorry she missed. Where's Kai Lang? I don't know. Gone. He took my research and left us here to die. Miranda, can you hear me? That's close enough. Both of you. Kai Lang didn't finish the job, but I will. This ends here. On the contrary. Now that the Reapers are taken care of, we have a way out. Let her go. Shepard, don't let him take her. Shepard, please. You try to leave with her, you die. Let her go and maybe you walk. I've done nothing to you. This isn't about you and me. Let her go and walk away. I won't say it again. All right. Take her. But I want out alive. Deal? No deal. Did he hurt you? Are you all right? It's okay, Ori. You're safe now. I'm fine. I just... I want to get out of here. We will. Give me a minute, okay? Commander Shepard. Fancy meeting you here. We caught a break. You all right? I'll be fine. Really. 
I don't know how you managed it, but I'm grateful you're here. How did you do all this? Finding my father didn't take long once I confirmed he worked for the elusive man. <sighs> Just had to follow the lies. Once I saw what this place really was, I couldn't just walk away. Of course. Things got really complicated when Reapers showed up. in Kai Ling. You survived. Not many people could do that. When you mentioned he was involved, I took a few precautions. Probably saved my life. Miranda, this whole thing was a huge risk. You should have told me. You have a war to win, Shepard. This was my fight. It's been a long time coming. You did it. It's over. Yes. I just wish my sister didn't have to see all this. About your father. I'm glad he's gone, Shepard. I'm sorry if that sounds cold. No. I understand. It's finally over. For both of us. We can stop running. Yes, you can. What's our status? Any intel we can use from this place? Research data is gone. But some basic facility information is still intact. Shuttle arrivals and departures, Cerberus included. No direct links, but it's a start. Grab anything you can off the computer. We'll take it back to be analyzed. I can do better than that. What? Before Kai Leng took off, I planted a tracer on him. If you act fast, you'll track him right to the elusive man. Tracer? Sounds like you thought of everything. <sighs> Not quite, but... <sighs> Nobody's perfect. Thanks, Miranda. This is exactly what we need. <sighs> Thought you might need some good news. Damn right. What's next for you two? Get her someplace safe. Get the scratch cleaned up. Okay. I gotta follow all this up. I'll be in touch, Shepard. Soon. I hope so. Come on, Ari. We've had enough of Father's hospitality. Let's make sure everyone knows about this place. Communication scrambler disabled. Listen to me. This is not a refugee camp. This is a Cortez, we need facility to pick up with the tower. Father, Henry Wilson. I've had enough of this place. I wasn't in favor of your diversion to Sanctuary, Commander. Too many unknowns. But I was wrong. The Cerberus lab you raided hinted at something big. But we never expected this. All those refugees, all that slaughter. Just to study indoctrination. Sanctuary did need to be shut down, sir. What they learned about the Reapers wasn't worth all those lives. It's useful intel, Commander, but you're right. The cost was too high. Do we have a location on the elusive man? Yes. We had a tracer on Kai Lang when he reported back. Good. That gives us a fighting chance to take Cerberus out of this war. Agreed. We need to end Cerberus and focus on the Reapers. My thoughts exactly. Hack it out.
soldier looks at a camp that turns people into husks and goes, Yeah, I want to help with that. The same guy that lets Cerberus stick Reaper tech into his skull. Those bastards aren't human anymore. Commander, it seems Tally's taking what happened on Horizon hard. She's in the lounge if you want to check on her. The Alliance has issued warnings about Sanctuary. Cerberus bastards. Horizon was my home. Just tell me you're going to take Cerberus down. Cerberus is already dead. They just don't know it yet. And when their base is nothing but a smoking crater, remember that you're the one who helped us find them. Thanks. Commander? Joker, you asked for news about the human colony. Tiptree? Hey, Liara, you don't need to worry about that right now. Now's as good a time as any. I'm getting reports of refugee ships from Tiptree landing on Salarian colonies. I don't have names. I'm sorry. It was mostly children. Well, Gunny, um, Hillary, my sister, G Gunny's the nickname she's had it since, uh, she's only 15, so if it's children, then maybe I only lost my dad. Kind of an asshole thing to hope for. Jeff, right now, take any kind of hope you can get. Thanks. You too. Nice work shutting that place down. Is Miranda okay? She will be. Even for Cerberus, that place was crazy. They've always been about the ends justifying the means. But how do you do that to innocent people and tell yourself you're helping humanity? Cerberus was trying to control Reaper forces. Yeah, which is crazy. Who would ever... And they succeeded. Sure, but that doesn't make it right. No. But if you can tell yourself that those people were gonna die anyway... <laughs> well, whatever. I'm just glad you shut that place down. Commander? Hello, Shepard. If you have time, I discovered another example of human behavior I do not quite understand. Have fun. What is it now? News from Earth. The Resistance snuck video cameras inside a Reaper containment camp. I find the images difficult to process. I bet it's pretty gruesome in there. I am not easily repulsed, but I expected the prisoners to adhere to a comprehensible hierarchy of needs. Stripped of societal norms and threatened with death, it is logical that their only priority be survival. They should have turned on each other and been uncompromisingly selfish. But not all were. Some prisoners were, what, nice to each other? The Reapers delayed the executions of prisoners who informed them about other prisoners' escape attempts. The more attempts reported, the longer a prisoner would live. But few of the prisoners would report. Some fed misinformation to the Reapers, at the cost of their own lives to help prisoners who were not even relatives or friends. Not everyone resists with firebombs and guns. Especially if they don't have them. But this was not a statistically insignificant number. 90% refused to report their fellow prisoners. Indoctrination should have reduced the number of rebels to nearly zero. Maybe word got out how indoctrination worked, and they made a decision. I see. Shepard, I'm going to modify my self-preservation code now. Why? If the Normandy were captured, my fate would be similar to the indoctrinated. My code would be rewritten. I would become loyal to the Reapers. I would rather become non-functional than help them. Sounds like you just made your first choice to be free. It will not be my last. The Reapers must be defeated. Not because they threaten death, but because the threat of death makes us die inside. It is the right of Sapiens to live freely and securely. That is worth non-functionality. Welcome to the crew, Edie. How's it going? Did I miss anything good? I will explain later, Jeff. But it was something good. I would like a moment to myself, Shepard. I am examining human literature. Commander? Hello, Shepard.
you feel it, Shepard? Feel the quickening? The elusive man better say his prayers tonight, because we are coming for him. Murderous asshole. Oh, yeah. Tide is turning. I feel it. <laughs> Sanctuary. Elusive man's obviously crazy, but bring him on. Cases like this, I don't mind killing crazy. Ready for the next mission, whatever you got. Ready for the next mission, whatever you got. Shepard! Want a drink? I'm toasting Miranda, I think. How are you getting drunk? Very carefully. Torian brandy, triple filtered, then introduced into the suit through an emergency induction port. That's a straw, Tally. Emergency induction port. Actually getting a little harder to get it into the slot. I think that means it's working. She was so rude. What did Jack call her? Cerberus cheerleader? With her perfect genes and that attitude and and still she got it done. She stopped her father. I didn't realize this would be so hard on you. I didn't like her. Kila, she was such a bitch. But I respected her. Sometimes that's better than liking. She did whatever it took to stop her father. She never gave in to him. Never changed herself to please him. Ah. Don't... Ah, me. You sound like a Vorja. Seeing a bit of yourself in Miranda fighting her father? I spent my life trying to live up to him. Then making up for his mistakes, doing what he'd have wanted. It's never that easy. When do we get to stop reacting to our parents and start living for ourselves? The answer to that one's at the bottom of that glass. I might need help with the induction straw. Port. You know. Here's to Miranda. Nice job, you genetically perfect Cerberus cheerleader Boshtet. Kila Solai. Your service. How's Miranda? She'll make a recovery. I'm not surprised. Miranda always struck me as a driven woman. I'm glad she made it. Feel free to look around. So the elusive man really believes he can control Reapers. Husks are one thing, but a whole fleet? The man is insane. A lot of Turians went to Sanctuary. When I meet the elusive man, I'm going to carve their names into his skull. Another time.
Feeling okay, Commander? Looks familiar. I've been studying this ship. It's cruel. There was a Normandy before this one. You died in an attack. Something like that. But then you were resurrected to fight the Reapers. Maybe you and I have a thing or two in common. But you have something else. The reasons you fight are still alive. The friendships of the people around you. And more. You and the Asari are joined? You could say that. I'm not. Your pheromones are. Is this why you wish to continue living? For their affection? I care about them, but I know that they could die on any given day. The only thing I know for certain is that everyone dies if we don't win this war. Better to keep the world at a distance. Which you seem to do quite well, Javik. What's in here? It is called the Echo Shard. Passed from soldier to soldier, Prothean to Prothean. Each adds their memories to it. Like a beacon. How far back does it go? To a time before the Reapers. It is all that is left of my people. And you don't want to remember that? Imagine if everyone you knew was dead. You could not remember their faces, or the color of the sky above your home. The memories were gone, but so was the pain. Would you want to remember that, Commander? Even if it meant watching everyone die again? If I had something like this, seeing Earth again, whole, with everyone still alive, that would be worth the pain. Before the Reapers, the stars belong to us. Civilization flourished. There was the Quasar Fortress of the Tarandi Vale. The ice canals of Judah IV. The Palisades of the Verrom Angelic. It was magnificent. But then... What is it? The Reapers came. Planet by planet we extinguished. We fought back. I... You okay? I once commanded a ship like this one. A loyal crew with many friends. I was captured. Only I escaped. What happened to them? Indoctrinated. The Reapers sent them against me. Year after year, battle after battle, I was hunted by my own people. Every encounter, a reminder of my failure as a soldier. Sorry. I had no idea. Until the Battle of the Cronian Nebula. I had only my knife left. I cornered my men and slit their throats one by one. I watched them bleed to death to be certain. That... must have been... It was the day I understood. War is atrocity committed in the name of survival. It is a lesson... I wish I had never learned. The crew seem shocked by the experiments at Sanctuary. They shouldn't be. Why is that? Our war lasted for centuries. It provided more time for worse atrocities to be committed. There was a species, the Densorian. 
They became convinced the Reapers could be placated by sacrificing their own young. The entire planet joined in this ritual. I will spare you the details, but it did not work. They simply made the Reaper's job easier. It was as your elusive man is now. His ambitions are nothing short of madness. Sharpen your knife, Commander. His is a voice that must be silenced, and a throat that must be slit. Subjugating the Reapers will not bring victory. Only their extinction will. Commander. Commander, command, 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 commander. Commander? Power grid is in the green. Commander. Breaking now, Alliance Marines uncover the worst Cerberus war crimes to date. Sanctuary, advertised as a safe haven on the planet Horizon, exposed as a secret Cerberus lab. Brainwashing, lethal experiments, and Reaper connections, the exclusive details next in the battle space. Commander. got word from Miss Sato. She arrived at the Alliance Research Facility safe and sound. And I hear Esteban got to play the hero with a damsel in distress. You know me and my damsels, Mr. Vega? That I do. Is everything okay, Shepard? Ma'am? Stay. I can't believe the elusive man really found a way to control the Reapers. I mean, he's still fucking crazy, but damn. Imagine if he was on our side. But I guess that's exactly what the Reapers want. Get us all fighting each other. Divide and conquer. Exactly. Just one more reason to hate them. I can't wait to take the fight to the elusive man. I wonder what he's thinking right now. You just know he's got a plan. I saw the Crucible data Hackett sent. I don't know what the hell it does, but damn if it isn't impressive. Do you hear that hum? Is that just me? Do you hear that hum? Is that just me? Commander? 